Because they're in her crate where she'd probably just be whining because she'd hear me in the other room. So she's hanging out. And if she freaks out, we'll, I'll mute the mic. If she freaks out a lot, then we'll deal with that when we, we get there. But I'll get her out of the room. But sorry if, like, there's any unannounced super loud barking, obviously. Can't always predict when that happens. But um, I'll be doing my best. I'm watching I'm watching. She's doing good right now because I gave her a rawhide, so she's she's going ham on that currently. But once that runs out, uh, all bets are off. But uh, today we're playing some more Bomberman. 5 0 with DNT on Monday. I'm gonna kind of just bouncing between the decks, having having some fun with both, honestly. Um, today we're trying to uh, we actually first change in a while. I guess the glass casket change, but we're trying out Serenities over uh, Disenchants. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting option from uh, one of the other users in the Bomberman Discord. Decided I wanted to give it a whirl, kind of check it out myself. So the idea is uh, a set, uh, probably twofold, maybe threefold. I have no, I don't have all the ideas on top of my head. But factor one is uh, disenchant often isn't good enough against a lot of the decks that you want the disenchant effects, right? You want to bring in disenchant against the, like, Chalice of Void Trinosphere, like, Card the Great Creator, or whatever, uh, obnoxious artifact decks, like Eldrazi, or Red Prison, or, like, uh, I guess that's kind of it. Those are, those are the big ones, at least. But, like, when you they have a disenchant target, they usually have many disenchant targets. Um, and the second idea is that a lot of the decks that you, like, kind of want to disenchant as this like uh kind of catch-all piece of removal like you brought it in as like miracles because it blew up back to basics and stuff but like it wasn't great or you brought it against stone blade but you didn't really care that much about their equipment and also they're kind of a back to basics deck but like miracles has also been moving away from back to basics because they're all playing mystic sanctuaries and stuff now so the there are a huge amount of matchups where you get, like, super punished for having Serenity over like, Disenchant. So there's not a lot of decks where you would bring in a Disenchant where you wouldn't bring in Serenity. I think there are a couple, namely, like, uh, Death and Taxes, probably. I don't think you want Serenity. Maybe you even still do against Death and Taxes. But obviously the other downside is that, like, we are a very heavy artifact deck. And, like, the, the downside is, uh, is definitely there when you have... Like a Mystic Fortune play, and you draw your Serenity, or even like just like a Mox Opal, and you draw your Serenity. Um, luckily, you're boarding your Chalices of the Voids in the matchups where you're bringing in Serenity anyway, for the most part. But uh, one of the people in the Discord was saying it was real good, so I wanted to give it a whirl. And um, the Disenchants have been like the solidly the most medium cards in the deck for uh, quite a while here. So we're just gonna we're gonna, we're gonna jam them, see how they go. Anyway, it's enough. Enough chit chat. Nope, not the legacy challenge. Just normal legacy league here. Lily's still going ham on the rawhide. Thank God. hear her scraping scraping against the floor and, and chewing on the ride I don't know how well the mic picks that up I think Cyrus is still streaming let's play against Cyrus Cyrus is usually not playing at the same time I am I've only played against him twice I, I believe our record is one and one <laughs> and this this deck I imagine has a Far better matchup against Ant than uh than Death and Texas does. Way more consistent, eh, way more consistently play turn one hate. Legacy opponents. Usually the 
with Vinsfire uh, pretty pretty steadily around my stream time. Occasionally we gotta sit here. Oh, there we go. I would love to play first. Um, seems a little awkward. Turn one Ballista into turn two, nothing into turn three. Karn is a choice. Kind of okay with it. We have what? How, we have how many draws to just straight up cast a Karn on turn two? Seven other soul lands, uh, four petals, three opals. Seven, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 ways to cast a turn two Karn. 14 out of 53. Like Mentor is a good draw too. I'm, I'm into this. I'm not super happy with it, but it's like, it's very threat dense, which is what I like. When it goes down to five, all right, well. Hopefully it's a good thing for us. We're just gonna jam the bullet on one. Jamming the bullet on one makes our, uh, like, makes a mockable draw way better, and at no point are we really going to be casting a better ballista, like, not for our several turns. Opponent. And we're gonna see go. We're playing against, like, Storm. Nice, we can just turn two this card. I mean, the world of five, so, like, Underground Sea, Go doesn't necessarily just, like, mean Storm. It could just be, like, uh, some four-color control deck that just has some weird draws. Just a question of what do we want to tutor with the Karn. We can just, like, cover our bases and go grab the Crypt anyway. Because the Karn's just already super hard to deal with. Uh, well, I guess they might force a will it, so let's find out. And we just have a uh, lattice lineup for next turn. I kind of I'm into just cr getting crypt just in case. We have a backup card too. They can't really get it off the board very well. Yeah, like none of these other options are great anyway. We already have a LED and stuff like that. Let's grab crypt and play it. You never know. Fatal push. Okay, so it is just like four color control. Well, if they don't play like a Baleful Strix here, then we just lattice them. And if they do, we can just like wish up a Ballista. Pink down the Strix. We have a second Karn. That does not stop us from. Oh, wow. Delver with Fatal Push. Death Shadow? So now we can't lattice them. I mean, we can, but obviously then the Delver gets us. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good draw. I'm wondering if we want to play the planes here. We could just wish up the other LED. But no, then we can't really realistically cast. Could just get Bridge. Bridge is like pretty insane against all the, the Delver variants. But we can also just we can just kill this Delver Secrets. I might just go say like Ballista plus Karn say go. Figure out what to do next turn. Like we can try for like Lattice or Bridge in the future turns. Like, they would have dazed my Karn last turn, so they don't have the daze. They have three cards in hand, so I think I just want to... When it says this is in D&T. &T. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, play a Ballista for one here. And kill the Delver. 
Maybe I even just minus this card for Lattice. Oh, no, 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 because then we can't do the LED trick. So yeah, we plus. Have to be vigilant about this. So the Storm of Script obviously not great against Delver, but uh, it can, like, try to shut off an Angler. So we have to be a little wary of that. I don't know how keen I am on, like, discarding my whole hand. To, like try to lattice them now we can play a lattice around a daze though which i'm more interested in we also keep the car around so it's like not the worst i think we're just latticing you have three cards in hand they haven't like interacted with any of my other shit they would need like spell pierce or force blue card Two, five, six, yeah. Crack. Minus. Go get lattice. We did it. We beat. So yeah, the I think the I guess the bullet in matter doesn't technically tell me it's shadow. Because it could be, like, Grixis still. But I think the Fatal Push more than anything, kind of. Does Grixis really play Fatal Push? No. I feel like it doesn't, right? Because Delver is, like, such a bolt deck. Luckily, I don't think it really... I don't think we care sideboarding-wise very much. I think we're just boarding in plows and boarding out, like, Mystic Forges or something. They have ley lines, we might bring in like the cast out too. But usually Delver's on like surgicals and stuff. Yeah, seems fine. Throwing Shadow Chalice is nuts, obviously. Oh, throwing Grixis Chalice is also nuts, but it's uh, easier for them to, to beat. Three Mox Opals, huh? Does not strike me as a keep. Alright, this hand's great. Snap off this one. Um, So if we go Tomb Chalice. We can then, like, Opal Petal Salvagers. I'm a little scared of Wasteland, though, so I kind of want to keep all my lands and, like, put the Opal at the bottom. I mean, we can still turn to the Salvagers with just Tomb into, like, Plains Petal. Oh, we don't even have to turn to the Salvagers. I think I'm going to put this Opal at the bottom. So I'm more concerned about, like, getting Wasteland out of games. Okay, it is Shadow. We figured it out. Not Thought Seize is good. Because now we get to play Chalice around a daze. Oh, makes me kind of sad that we're going to use this pedal. But that's fine. Sure, Force Pitch Bonder. Now we'll probably just run out Naked Mentor. Get the Salvador. Ooh, alright. Uh oh. Did Lily finish her Rawhide? It's like, uh, we're going back to the Stone Age here. I think we kept all these lands. We can technically run out the Salvagers. Put in three cards in hand. I'm not super into just getting dazed. I don't think we're, like, in a hurry to do anything. We could get thought seized again. Maybe we're just supposed to jam. Uh, we we don't get days. We have Lion's Eye Diamond. What the fuck am I doing? We just play Lion's Eye Diamond, and then we don't get days. We only get forced. I 
I mean, we can't, like, go off, go off, but we, like, get a chalice. So, and get all our stuff in play anyway, so I'm pretty into that. Like, have surgical, but even that's, like, fine, I think. I also just have nothing. They only have three cards in hand. I'm trying to figure out my grave right there. <laughs> Now we just need to make enough mana to buy back all our petals and put a chalice on one and say go. So we need like 10 mana or something. 8 mana with the diamond in play. Lily. Getting antsy. It's making me nervous. Chalice on one. Get my petals back. So we have more mana to do things. And then say go. We need to find Ballista, Bobble, Karn. Really, city of traders. I will attack them. Probably play the city of traders. No, there's no reason to. Because if we draw a not land and we some for some reason need the mana, then we can just play it that turn. If we draw a land, we'd rather just play that land. <laughs> All right. So now we play the city. Because if we don't play the city, then we're going to have to discard the city to get our petals back anyway. So, yeah. The city also, like, doesn't really matter in this board state. Go, second salvagers. Second salvagers is good. It's nice and redundant here. So my opponent just, like, draws a dismember or something. We're still set up. We're also just like beating them down. They're at eight. We have two two fours. Hit you. What you got, opponent? More lands, it looks like. GG in chat. GG is opponent. Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta beat him down. Hello. Hello, Lily. Got her tails. <laughs> Knocking over a bunch of cords. Can you please lay down? Can you please just go sleep for a little bit? One second. attention away with various things to chew on. There you go. Yes. Chew on that bone. Oh, sorry. She does have a habit of just holding them in her mouth and trying to chew on them while like holding them in the air so she'll constantly drop it. There you go. Yes. Lay down. Say hi, you're on TV, Lily. So again, apologies.
apologies to anyone whose microphones or, or headphones are getting pinged. All right. We would love to play first. His hand is oof, weird, certainly. It's a turn three forge and nothing else besides like cycling this bobble. We're on the play. I don't think this hand, I don't like this hand nearly as much. If the city was an ancient tomb, I think I'd keep this, but the city being a city just makes this hand a lot clunkier. I think we're happy with like most other sixes here. Maybe I'm supposed to just keep like lands and spells more. This is the same fucking hand except now I'm down a, a land. <laughs> this is literally the city of traders was a cavern of souls and this hand was identical. On six, I'm pretty sure I just like have to keep this like this strictly worse hand. <laughs> I could like turn two of four, just going city into city. That feels kind of loose, but maybe that's like, maybe that's my plan with this hand. Ship the LED to the bottom. Just go turn one, bobble ballista, city, bobble ballista. Kind of into that. Just power out Mystic Forge as soon as possible. And then my opponent's on Delver and we get dazed and we just cry a lot. Put it also mold to six. Let's take a look at what they're doing before we decide what we're doing. Let's bobble them. Because if we see like a daze on top, we're just like straight up not going to lead, lead with city. Or like if we see a delver or something, we're less inclined to. What are you doing over there, opponent? A city of brass, a dread. All right, so yeah, we're just off to the races. Also, having a Ballista in play uh, helps us versus Bridge from Blow, which is nice. Opal. Opal gives us mana post us obliterating our mana base with Double City, at least. Definitely going to Karn here instead. Just get a Tormod's Crypt. Oh, it also turns off their LED, so that if they crack it, we just we can just Tormod's Crypt them too. Okay, sure, that makes sense. Cycle the, the Wraith and crack the LED. So they at least get to, like, dredge. Wait, no, all they have is a... Now they have... No, that doesn't make any sense. Now they just have nothing. Now they're just going to Torment script them and they're going to have a Grave Troll in their hand. Now they're just super dead. That doesn't make any sense. I take back what I said. Maybe, like, they also weren't just beating the car into the crypt, right? Because they didn't have a discard? No, they had a faithless looting in hand. Wait, why aren't they just looting? Right? Oh, no, they might have dredged. They, I think they dredged that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, they dredged the looting. I figured it out. Well, just could imagine the car next time would group. Like, I get... I, I don't know. I don't know if there was a better line than just, like, going for it and hoping to, like, hit, like, a bunch of Narc Amoebas or something so they could, like, at least fight the Karn. We also just had, like, Ballista in play, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, didn't really see a good chance for my opponent to win that game. I don't think I'm supposed to board in Serenities. Like, Dredge, like, always has Leyline, but I don't think Leyline's, like, that big of a deal in this matchup because you're really in on, like, just the, the Container Priest or the Karn Crypt plan. On the draw, I might also just board in the crypt, because like turn two card on the draw might be too slow versus mana dredge. Um, 
Chalice is fine. Probably. Chalice like turns off therapies and stuff. You only turn one Chalice if you can't turn two Priest. Protect that. Don't know how much I've played this matchup or what I'm supposed to board out. Probably Mystic Forge is horrible. Not having four Tormod scripts in your deck kind of sucks, but against the faster graveyard deck, sometimes you just really want another piece of graveyard hate. And like, Karn can also wish for just Ensnaring Bridge to uh, to ice them pretty badly. Although they can't dredge into like their Dread Return Ashen Rider or whatever to, to deal with the bridge. I think this and cut like a bobble or something is what I want to do. We're mostly in on like the Containment Priest plan. On the play, I could see bringing out the Tormund script again. Maybe bringing in, like, the Ballista, just to have extra things to break bridges. This sand is perfectly reasonable against, like, random decks, but uh, definitely not Dredge. Happy to go to six here. They kept. You're really looking for, like, turn one Container Priest, like this hand. And we'll bottom the Salvagers, I think. I think we're just far away from killing them with salvagers. I think the priest is hopefully going to ice them, and then like Karn can seal the deal, mentor and Karn stuff. Turn one priest is very good, especially if they're playing as land go. Human. Never know if they have like. Force of Wills or shit. There's no downside to running that out instead, so. They keep like a reactive hand or something? They're taking a draw step. Are they waiting for turn two to like. blow up my pedal? Sure. You got me. I'm not even gonna cast this container priest, I don't think. <laughs> we just play land as I go. Great use of a serenity, if I'm being honest. Cabal therapy, alright, fine. <laughs> Just concede on the spot, nice. Alright, cool, cool. Hello, Lily. She wants to play tug of war, but this is a cat toy. You're gonna tear a cat toy. Go bring one of your toys, and I can play tug of war with that. What you have there is a cat toy. What happened to your bone? Where did you put that? You big doofus. You big doofus. Oh, I see it. I'll be right back. <laughs> she just has both of them in her mouth. <laughs> oh god, she's such an idiot sometimes. Truly, a, truly a marvel that you can fit both of those toys in your mouth, Lily. What a what a special child you are. Hello, you little demon. You're getting drool all over my leg and this toy. Man, it feels really good being able to like beat Dredge in game one. One thing that's always felt like felt bad about uh, playing a super fair deck like Evan Taxes. Sometimes you're just like stone dead in game one and there's nothing you can do about it. Like most hands against Dredge, you're just like, well, 
I'm dead, I guess. <laughs> but like combo decks, or decks with a wishboard especially, you just can go like get Tormod's Grip on turn two and kill a dredge opponent. Or against like red black reanimate, or sometimes you can just play like a turn one chalice. Things that DT can't do and you feel it good. Oh. I'm into this. We're on the draw a lot, but we have turn one, ballista, turn two, like mentor bobble opal, maybe sec probably second opal. Opals don't do anything, but they make jokes. On the draw here, which makes this hand a little worse. Flooded strand, that's the fetch we like to see with this hand. Go walking ballista. Get him. It's much more awkward for me. I don't think I'm gonna cycle this bobble yet. We'll cycle we'll cycle it next turn, I think. Maybe we're supposed to actually cycle it this turn. Because like we're digging for like a soul land at this point. We have enough things to defeat our mentor. But if we just like naturally draw another land, getting a like a fourth mentor trigger seems great. Alright, so there's Rug Delver here. Friend time? Cool. Uh, yeah, we can just play Uncounterable Mentor. Hopefully they don't have another Bolt, and we can put the heat on this run in six here. Please tap out for something useless. Come on, Castle Tarmogoyf. This could be Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt would suck. But, not beating Lightning Bolt, so, uh, we're in it to win it. Ah, oh, yes, no Bolt. Let's go. Definitely just run out this opal and get as many monks as possible. Maybe I want to keep something in my hand to like trigger prowess to count this ren better, like just with four things in hand. There are four things in play. Because if the ren like picks off a monk, we'll have five power in play, which isn't like a huge amount. Yeah, I'm kind of into holding this other opal actually. The only real removal they have for Mentor anyway is Bolt, and if they didn't Bolt it, they don't have a Bolt currently. They can obviously draw, try to draw for one, but... Kind of into using this Opal as an Anthem to try to punch my opponent and or their Planeswalker in the face better. Flip off Ponder, sure. Shuffle away the Ponder. Interesting. Figured they would want to ponder here. Maybe wasteland me. Another thing about keeping the bobble around is that it's the only thing turning on our opal, but I don't think we really need it. We're on a four drop into a daze, which kind of sucks, but no, we just have more ponders. It's like if we draw salvagers here, we each get dazed. Or like Karn, Mystic Forge. We still get a bunch of mentor triggers, you know, punch them. Imagine this run is down taking on a monk. Yep. I wonder if this 
apparitions attacking or not. All right, what you got in that hand, opponent? Let me see. A force of negation. All right, that's good to know about. Yeah, I'm gonna just tossing all these spells out now. Makes the mentor able to attack through the insectal apparition. Oh cool, they just can see it. Nice. I think about just going at their face, but I don't know how good that is. So what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten only? And we like don't have any more cards to draw. Conceding with five cards in hand and like this board stays a little bit weird to me. Like maybe they just won't be able to beat a bunch of monks anyway. Like, but we might have to send everything at Ren, right? Maybe I'm okay with, like, just sending the Mentor at the Ren and, like, the Monks at their face. So they can either save the Ren and lose the Apparition, or, like... I'm actually not sure where that attack is supposed to go. Alright, Delver playing easy. Nope, don't cut the Karn, cut the Forges. Forge is just, like, very slow and value-oriented and, like, deals you a bunch of damage over turns. Just not generally where you want to be, first Delver. Hey, what you doing, bud? You're gonna tear a hole in that, aren't you? Aren't you, punk? Yeah, you already are. Yes, lay down, lay down. Small demon. What does this hand do? Nothing? Well, that was good. One land that is a non-basic is not good. We have the ability to get to two mana, but then we can't cycle the baubles. It's an easy mull. This hand has cards. Cards that I'm okay with. Having only a Karn is a little bit awkward, because like Karn's really hard to defend against Delver. Plus, if, like, having the single payoff hands are, like, a little bit medium. I don't think I'm just going to turbo out this Karn. I'm tempted to just put the... Even just, like, the pedal... I guess the LED to the bottom is probably the best bet. Because we want all our lands, I think, versus the Wasteland deck. The LED helps us, like, we get, like, Karn into Bridge or something, but Bridge is a lot less potent post-board. Unfortunately, this Delver is just going to get us now. We're just going to cycle this bobble and say go. Carver to Souls is a really good draw, though. Not flip, nice. Alright, gives us more <laughs> chances to draw this uh ballista, please. I would definitely just put this cavern. I probably I would almost certainly burn the cavern on construct to clear this Delver. A trop in hand, alright. Shit, two ballistas. All right, maybe we don't put this cavern on a construct. We could just play around days. I mean, maybe the second ballista also means that the cavern construct's like even just actually better, not worse, because <laughs> we have like more things to feed into it. We have a decent amount of mana. Kind of, they have five cards in hand. But I have to imagine that. Turn one Delver, turn two, second land go means they have a ton of interaction. So I think I just want to clear this Delver and force them to like find more clock. So yeah, let's cavern on construct. So if I should nine. P 
you. Yeah, their hand is just extremely reactive. And obviously, yeah, now this uh, salvager is going to suck because we can't cap around human it and it'll almost assuredly get countered. But. Like, they're just hitting land go, land go, land go. They kept this hand because it has Delver and a bunch of things that they want in this matchup. Like, Ancient Grudge, Force of Will, plus, like, some... What bad blue card would they not play here? Second Delver, maybe? Like, a Force of Will plus Days would make sense. Obviously, they have this Trop in hand still. So, sequencing here is a little... I think I'm just going to go Crocus Go... Good Karaka. I don't want to play my Ballista into, like, a removal spell. I'd rather save... Now that we have this Cavern on Contract, I'd rather save it to, like, ping off a creature. And next turn, we can just jam Karn into, like, a day... Like, it'll be days proof because we'll have five mana. I guess we could have jammed Karn this turn with the pedal, but... I'm terrified. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I'm just hooting that. It's okay. That's less terrifying. It's kind of obnoxious. Can't uh, glass casket this if my card resolves. Uh, what of our LEDs at the bottom? We're probably just gonna like Karn for an LED here and have our Karn die, assuming it resolves. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna do. Um, they have four cards in hand. We probably just want to, like, bait through the counters, right? There's, like, no way they don't have a Force of Will. So we want to try to burn through counters first before we try to just infinite combo them. What is this Karn doing if it's resolving? Ensnaring Bridge? Yeah, probably Ensnaring Bridge. Or just plussing. Goes up to six, then they just bolt it. Let's put it on the stack, see what happens. I mean, we just play this pedal first. It's not really necessary, but like they have like double days. I have to imagine this getting forced a little with my opponent's hand. Spell pierce. Okay. Um, I'm into paying for the spell pierce. Force them to also use a daze or something. We don't need all this extra mana. We have the kill lined up. Oops. So I love this resolve. So I imagine they also just have days here. And that's why we played the pedal. Like a like a reasonable magic player. Yep, there we go. Granted, I think I don't know, they could have like Pierce plus days to the LED. Actually, I think we might have been... Assuming those were their only two pieces of interaction or something, I think we might have been able to go off with of Salvagers. Because the LED just makes a bunch of mana, too. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Salvagers, LED. Okay, that's four. We had five left. So that's two, three left. So we could pay for all that. Yeah, it is actually a kill, assuming that that was all their interaction. Now I think we're just going to go for the kill. Yeah, definitely going for the kill. Pressure is on. Ooh. I wonder if they're going to like force of negation this lion's eye diamond. No? Uh, that pause makes me a little nervous. If they do have a force negation for LED, then we lose this plow. I kind of want to plow this Tarmacoid. <laughs> but that, like, like buries us to surgical, which kind of sucks. Let's put this on the stack first. Okay, they're going to force it. That 
that's not fine, but it's workable. Because now we can plow the uh, goif. And live on. We have a one, two, maybe like a big-ish ballista coming up. That'll eventually be able to brawl with the mandrels if we just like pump man into it. Nice, that's a good draw too. So it lets us like crack our LED if we want to. This is a two two. Yeah, we could like pop the LED to make it a three three if we want, which I might. Depends on what happens. We are not winning at trivia. If you're wondering, it's because I'm not there, the trivia master. I'm not trivia master. Wow, that was an unfortunate top deck. Well, we have three turns to live. I was really hoping I didn't have a bolt there. Wow, that's. Wait, that doesn't even do anything. It pings us. I think it might accelerate. It accelerates the clock if they just start down ticking it. Because they can just down tick it over three turn. No, we're still dead in three. But they don't have to attack on the final turn, at least. They might just tick it up, though. So, like, because if we deal with the mandrels, then they want to, like, have the Ren as a, as a win condition. Just trust Salvagers. Punk. I think we want no we don't want 1-1 one, one Ballista because that just gets pinged by Ren. I think we just want come on Lily get out of there hmm. I think we want 2-2 two, two Ballista if we draw like zeros we'd rather we want to pair them with the Mentor here and the Ballista can try to like pump up to brawl with the, the Mandrels overturns and it just costs more mana to play right now. Hey, get out of the trash. Punk. Not gonna block here. Dead to a bolt or whatever. But it's life. Probably would have just bolted the bliss. I don't know, they just have lethal. There's no reason to bolt the ballista, but I, I mean, we're just not beating the bolt straight up. Even if we were at like four instead of three, we're still not like beating that lightning bolt. Best draw here is, besides salvagers, is probably just like, uh, Karn maybe actually, Karn for bridge. I don't think I want to discard this mentor. To, oh, there we go. That's pretty good. They got one card in hand and not force a little mana, so this probably works out. They could have force of negation. Alright, cool. They died. We did it. What, 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 what's your deal, Lily? Huh? What are you doing? Chew on, on your bone. You see, you see this? You see the bone? There you go. All right, dunking on people. Get some uh, some decent matches today. Kind of shredded the our dredge opponent. Um, kind of shredding Delver opponents on. That, that last game against Delver was like pretty close. We had a lot of good draws at that point though, like. If we draw, draw like any zero drop, we get to like mentor zero drop. Uh, probably we can like double block the ballista if we want, or double block the mandrels if we want. Or I guess we have to, right? So we're at three. Hmm. And then, then we're not like actually like super favored, I suppose. We could pump up the ballista though. That's probably the play, right? Use the LED to pump the ballista up to a three three. And we can like double block it with Ballista plus Monk token. And then we have Mentor versus the Renin 6. 
That's probably the line. If we didn't draw zero drop, we're in trouble. Because then if we pump up the blister to 33, double block it with the mentor plus the ballista, they can just ping off the other one at the end. Because like they either deal three damage to the ballista and one damage to the mentor, or two damage and two damage, and then like we have five toughness, they have five damage total. So yeah, I guess that turn was pretty critical. If we had just like hit a, a land there, might have been in some trouble. Do we have enough mana to double pump ballista? With the LED, I think we did, right? We had one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we had exactly eight. Although I guess that line's the same as playing Mentor and double blocking, except it cracks the LED, right? Because if we double pump the ballista, we still have to just ping down or trade with the uh, mandrels. Where are you at, Cyrus? We're coming for you. Let me tune into Cyrus's stream. See if he's in the middle of a match. What are you doing there? What are you doing there, Lily? There right, we got a match. Hope this isn't. Hope this isn't Cyrus as I slowly get through this ad to Q and just. Alright, cool. He's in the middle of a match against... Oh, he's playing Vintage. What the shit, Cyrus? This isn't a Legacy Storm. I uh, would love to play first. Oh, wow. This hand's actually sweet. Turn one Chalice. Turn two... Options. Turn to Salvagers, but we're down basically all of our mana. Turn to Karn's realistically the play, right? Turn to Karn, get the LED. LED turns on the Opal again. We're like one mana away from the um, Salvagers kill. Or not kill. Because, oh uh, yeah, yes, kill. So we go, so we get Ballista. Does Bomberman want to Q? <laughs> Q Snipe Storm. No, I just wanted to play against Cyrus again. We've only played against him twice and we're one and one. And we're playing a deck with like a much better Storm matchup. Anyway, this hand's great. We're keeping it. Turn one Karn, turn two in. I guess we could have just turned one to the Karn instead of turn one to the Chalice. We don't have the turn two win rolled up though, right? Oh no, we can't turn on the car either, unless we want to play this chalice on zero. Uh oh, that's a wrench in our uh, plans, huh? Yeah, turn one in the car and by uh, turn one the car and like ping off our own. Chalice of the on zero just to play the Karn. Uh, what are we doing here? We have access to two mana. That doesn't cast any of our spells. So I don't think I'm casting any of them. I think I'm just going to go Bobble. So we can try to draw into lands. I don't think we need any of these. Playing against a Wasteland deck. That's all we really know. So Good Bobble for more info right now, I suppose. We have Chalice, so like we're not really getting thought seized. The I don't think the Karn line was correct. It didn't seem great. Like what, ping off our own Chalice, just have the Karn on six? What you got? And then we have, we only have two artifacts. The next turn we like down tick wish for, uh, no, like our Opal's super off because we also cracked the pedal there. So, like, we just don't have any other mana? What are we doing with the Karn afterwards? Down tick for a Ballista, or, like, an LED or something? Play it. Down tick again for, like, another thing to turn on the Opal. Hope we find a mana source. What if the hell's fuck? This could be a green deck, or it could be Rug Delver. Um... 
for a guild where I don't want my like mana things to get dazed. I guess we probably want to play all these artifacts anyway. Like I don't think this mentor is getting down without the use of like the opal and the petal anyway. So let's play out the opal and the petal around possible dazes. Lily, get out of there. Come on. So if I do nothing a lot, we're doing pretty good here. 3-0 and so far today. Did they leave because I was tanking so long? Or are they, like, thinking about force of willing this? Okay, cool. Go, Lotus Petal. So go. All right. I hope we draw like Soul Land. Eh, normal Land. I'll take it. Probably not using the pedal to play a Naked Mentor. If we draw a zero, then maybe. If we draw zero, then probably playing the Mentor. If we don't, then no. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm just saying go here. I think just Naked Mentor is really bad because it uses our pedal, which also turns off our Opal. So we're just down a million mana and we have a 2-2. A we would much rather get this Karn into play. What is our opponent up to? We still don't know. Okay, Mountain. So they are just a... Uh, wait, Mountain? What does that mean? Burn. No, not Burn. It's the Wasteland. What does this mean? Goblins? Uh, no, lands, right? No, lands is play basic mountain. What is this? Is this goblins? Is there another wasteland taiga mountain deck? Uh, so now we can mentor Bobble. I think that line still sucks, though. I think I'm just going to Bobble. Just try to find a fourth mana source still. I think our other avenues of victory are way better than this mentor. All right, what you got? Please show me a card that lets me know what you're playing. Abrupt Decay. Is this just like loam with a basic mountain? Seems insane, but okay. Just kidding. Do you find Barman all cumbersome to play online given how long? It's like kind of obnoxious sometimes, but it's like doable. Kind of surprised they didn't just fucking decay one of my mana sources. Now we have to be wary that they can, in fact, decay my mana sources. And also that they like, get wasteland into oblivion with this knight. Alright, these are all good draws. Hey, let me get out of there. So, I'm kind of into Mentor plus Bobble here. Kind of incentivize them to decay my mentor instead of my mana. Other option is Karn for LED. If we like played the Karn, what would we have done? <laughs> yes, Lily's in the room. Oh, I'm gonna give a thumbs up. Because I guess you're on mute. Someone type the answer, please. Or I guess I can just type the answer. Um, but yeah, no, the, the turn one card, like, like, we're down this pedal, this opal's, like, never turned on. We finally hit, like, a mana source. Like, it, it sits there for a while, but, like, we can't do anything with a card and no mana. We don't have an ancient den in the sideboard. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I like Mentor because it also doesn't pop our pedal. She's been okay. She's been wandering around. I'm hoping she she lays down soon. So yeah, this incentivizes them to decay something that isn't my uh, mana sources. So hopefully we can set up um, Karn for LED into the kill. What are you drawing? Assassin's Trophy, that's no good. Card's a lost carrier, then a broke decay. 
That kills my four drops. I have to imagine they're going to decay my mentor here, right? Still can't get over this basic mount. What's the basic mountain doing in my opponent's deck? Lily, get out of there. What are you doing? What are you doing, you big dingus? Savannah, sure. And is Decay Trophy and four other cards. Imagine this chalice is not good. All right, yep. Got the Decay. They do still have Trophy up because... Oh, no, they're attacking with Knight. They don't have Trophy up. So top deck, like, LED. Kill them. Like, the mountain's your worst basic, though, right? Because, like, one of the main reasons you play your mountain is to, like, beat Blood Moon, right? And, like, you always have mountains with Blood Moon. And the other reason is, like, back to basics and stuff, but... Just seems, like, wild. Mountain seems like the worst basic in Portfolio Loam. alone. Um, what are we doing here? The Karn might bait the trophy, because we have, like, the Monk to chump for it. Unless they have, like, P-Fire. I think we're just going to Karn for LED, though, and not play it, because... Then we can like at least trigger the mentors with it, try to bait this trophy out. Or if they tap low enough, we can just try to combo them. Could get casket. No, it's really bad against this deck. They have so many ways to remove it, including the one in their hand. Just gonna get LED try to kill them. Muck threatens to chump block the knight. So if they don't have like a P fire or another way to get the monk out of the way, then they might have like trophy the Karn. Sepulchral Tranquil Thicket. don't have the kill rolled up either. We just have like bobble for infinite cards, which sucks. Because it'll just take forever. If they leave my monk in play, we have the kill. But it looks like they're gonna attack my Karn. Oh no, we don't have the kill, because they actually have a maze too. Now, we, if this Karn does late, we actually go get Ballista, and then we have a, a plan. But no, they're like 100% going to trophy it here, right? Or kill it in some other fashion. Ooh, another Salvagers. So we can just minus for Ballista. So they have the trophy up, obviously, so we can't just Salvagers them. We could minus four Ballista, so we have, like, the kill rolled up, and then just Mentor LED, make more blockers. Try to, like, force out the trophy eventually. Alternatively, we could go get, like, Crypt. Crypt is actually kind of hot, because Crypt makes, like, the Knight a 2-2. Which makes it, like, easier for our stuff to block. Kind of into getting Tormod's Crypt here. They, don't, they might just trophy my mentor in response. We have the kill rolled up, though. Mentor in response, like, the first thing I cast, so we don't have enough blockers to kill 2-2 two -two anyway. I think it might be just Ballista. We have two Salvagers in hand, too. Some nice Lomer Boy with the wisdom of this mountain. Yeah, this is usually where Lomer Boy walks in. It's like, why is your four color Lomer Boy playing a fucking basic mountain? Imagine they, if they wanted to kill the trophy of this mentor, they're going to do it with this, this LED on 
the stack so I can't just play more things into it. They're just gonna sit on this trophy, really? Alright. We're building up quite the sizable board state to just deal with this. I minus with the Karn first because I was worried about like if I put Mentor on the stack they can like trophy the Karn in response. If they're not worried about the Mentor and then I just don't get an activation at all. But like in a perfect world I can like play the Mentor and then cast the LED and then after that decide if I want to wish for Crypt or Ballista but the fact that they can trophy my Karn at any time makes that plan more awkward for sure. So now they're going to trophy the Karn, sure. No, it seems like an obvious flex spot. <laughs> they're just, they're flexing on us by playing it. <laughs> true, true. This is one matchup that Sire the sideboard Serenity is really awkward over Disenchant. Because they don't have a huge amount of things that you're blowing up with Serenity. Like, you do get hit Moxes, uh, Chalices, and Ley Lines. What are they getting back? Thicket, Foothills, Wasteland, sure. Uh, and on top of that, they can Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy your Serenity, so you don't get to blow up anything. This is one matchup that definitely does get punished by playing, by not playing the Disenchants. I think Serenity's still fine to board in. It's like reasonable, but like. Really, you have to pick your spots with it. I'm just gonna attempt to kill my opponent here. A little awkward, because we will discard our hand. They have removal, maybe I'm just supposed to keep waiting. They like cast Liliana and they're tapped out and they would they died to the Salvagers. And their hand is they have a thicket in hand, that's the only card we know about. Knight doesn't do anything relevant. Chalice. Put a chalice on two, just keep waiting. Chalice on two triggers the mentor too. Kind of into that. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana, so we can't mentor into the chalice on two. Chalice on two helps us against like trophies, p fires, and stuff. Turns off their loam. I think we're fine playing the slow game. I guess the the knight can go get like bog, but we have way too much mana for them to like be able to bog me. Is that true though? Actually, because like the the LED puts the ballista in the graveyard at that point, so we would need to also be able to save the ballista. We play the salvagers, pop the LED. We have five mana. Yeah, trophying the mentor. All according to plan. I suppose we'll run out the other mentor here. Crack my pedal for it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana after that. Salvagers, pop LED. We have five mana left. We try to pick it up. In response, they bought me. In response, we try to pick it up again. No, we actually need this pedal. Thicket. Activate the knight for something or other. Go get like a. No, they're just making their knight big, for sure. I 
think we're just going for it next turn. I think we can beat most things at this point. Lily, what are you doing? Lily. Yes, lay down on your pillow. I think with 10 mana, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, with 10 mana, sorry, we can beat a bog. Get bigger is the best thing I can do here. I feel like they could have, like, cabal pitted my monk or something. But, like, they don't have that many other things to go get for the night, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we figured out why they're building a basic mountain, I guess. Because they're just playing nonsense. Alright, I'm into it. Let's crush some countrysides, I guess. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this monk around. We're gonna take seven, go to seven. <laughs> oh, nine called for their aggro loan back. <laughs> yeah, sure, maze it, whatever. terror for me so this line beats bog because we have one two three four five six mana so if we try to pick up led they bog me responsibly pick up the led and the ballista and then we can just go off from there Six mana. What's up, Yaz? Also, like, down pretty far on clock here, so gotta click fast here in game one. Shall on two locks them out of shenanigans, like Punishing Fire plus uh, Cabal Pit, my thing. Or, like, whatever. Whatever thing they would grab here, maybe they have a barb ring if they're if they're crushing countrysides. <laughs> ah, sweet, they just conceded. How nice of you, opponent. I do truly appreciate people that concede when they're dead to the combo and like don't make me click through it for four minutes. Countryside crusher, huh? I have to imagine they're like most of a four, normal four-color loam shell, and I'm supposed to board accordingly. So definitely cut all my chalices, board in these cards. So the question of like, do I want, like, I would bring in Disenchant here, do I want Serenity? I probably still want Serenity, Leyline's scary, Chalice on zero scary. We have a bunch of targets for like, not really so much for Decay, but for, like, Assassin's Trophy anyway. And, like, you can just, like, nuke Mox Diamonds sometimes. It's definitely more awkward, especially when you have just, like, Mystic Forge in your deck. And you just, like, <laughs> need to Serenity them. <laughs> or if you have, like, you're going off, like, Mox Opals and shit. Let's try it out. Oh, whoops. I almost submitted 62 cards. Maybe we're supposed to, like, trim Opals because of that. Fastman is a huge year. Opal and Serenity just don't play nice. Doesn't Karn just deal with all those zero uh, CMC artifacts? Yeah, but like you only have four Karns, right? Sometimes like Chalice is a real backbreaker. You just want to clear it. And uh, Leyline of the Void is probably in their sideboard. You're not so much scared of the Mock Diamonds as you are just like instantly cleaning them up with something like Serenity. What's up, Colonel Crab Cake? How's it going? Well, that sand sucks. That sand's real bad. Alright, I'm into this hand. Um, kind of want to put this bobble to the bottom. Turn 2 Karn, turn 3 Karn if we need to. We could put a land at the bottom, realist, like, 
not super greedily, only kind of greedily. Bubble cycles, the bubble will find us a land anyway, right? We'll be fine. Mm. I like land drops. Especially against Wasteland decks. I don't think we're leading with Tomb here. Obviously, leading with Tomb is great if we draw another soul. I don't know, we're leading with Tomb. I take back everything I just said. If I didn't draw another soul land, I was thinking about leading with a non-soul land. So like, if my opponent just wastelands me, we're not knocked back to the Stone Age here. But this means that we also like don't have to burn our petal. And if they do wasteland us, we have the second Tomb anyway. Hey, Lily, get out of there. What you got, opponent? Forgot, all right, yeah. So all these extra red sources make more sense when your opponent's trying to cast Countryside Crusher. This all checks out now. The mountain, this forgotten cave. I don't even think Four Color Lone plays just Plateau. Ren me. What am I doing with this Karn? Just setting up for a lattice? But what's the best way to do that? What's my first wish? Ballista, maybe? Probably not LED, because we have the second Karn. Second Karn can pick up an LED at some point. Tormod's Crypt? Oh, well, hello. Maybe it is Tormod's Crypt. They have Forgotten Cave Foothills in hand. Maybe we just want to pop this loam. Turn off their diamond. We could just pop the diamond and like, pulse it and just kill the diamond if we want. They have Foothills in hand. And notably, they didn't want to cycle the cave. So I'm kind of in for just popping the diamond in case they have, like, trophy for my Karn. Just put them back on a bunch of mana. Although, then they get to, like, dredge the loam, cast the loam again, get more mana. So it's probably correct to just, uh... Man, if they didn't discard the cave, we couldn't even... If they have, like, thicket, we get fucked. But that's life, I guess. Oh, no, we don't, because we shut it off. We shut off the diamond. Never mind. The cave couldn't play around a cycle either. They would have had to cycle in response. Just kill this loam. We have plenty of options for next turn. Including like lattice locking them if they don't provide any pressure. Although we have to play around them like P firing my Karn in response to the lattice. But even then, like we just play as follow up Karn the next turn, even if they P fire my Karn. So that might still be the right play. Yeah. So they have like trophy here. Alright. Interesting. So. Ballista on three? Glass Gasket sucks. Ballista seems fine. Threat. If he protects the Karn. Kills the Thalia. Thalia, I can just leave it in play. <laughs> like, tax their stuff. I don't need to play out my pedals or anything. So, yeah. Thalia in play just taxes them trying to, like, cast Trophy or something. 3-3 three, three Ballista blocks it. We're gonna get, like, Cross and Grip and feel like a moron. Yeah. 
Okay, we need land to cross and grip me at least. They do have the fetch land in there, though, the foothills. They still have that. Strange play three forge and not have the fourth in the board. This is like not something you really need to wish for very often. Could do you have Krakos Thalia and play the lattice? Uh yeah, I suppose we could have. I wasn't really thinking about my uh Krakos. There are a huge amount of matchups where like card advantage is super important when you already have a card in play. Some matchup like it's like exactly like the four color control miracles matchups where you miss something like a forge and sometimes you can play like coding which is also really good in those sorts of matchups but it's just like kind of a narrow sideboard card to be honest like karn does enough other things usually uh yeah we're gonna pop our led to to lock them though right six seven Seven, eight, and an eleven. Yeah, we'd have to pop our LED to a lattice lock them. I don't know. I don't know what mana they had up. I think it was safe though. Probably only had like a bayou or something. I forget. Yeah, they only had the bayou up, so it was like pretty safe to just. And we could have uh, bounced their Thalia after we lattice locked them, because <laughs> we just have like we told the Crocs in play. Yeah, it probably would have been much better. But whatever. Um, so we could not, we can't lattice lock them now, right? Because Karn's four, lattice is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, we did like it. Don't know if I want to into a bunch of open mana. Especially because we're like killing our first Karn, or killing our other Karn. So if they like just trophy my Karn, we don't do anything. Just win. Um, I think I'm fine just sitting there murdering them with this ballista, right? We can play a land here. I guess those were supposed to ping, right? Because, well, no, if they block, then I just don't need to ping. We just let the damage happen. They could, like, let first strike damage happen and then, like, P fire my ballista. Then I feel like I'm more on, though, so I should, probably should just ping and, like, not be an idiot. So let's pump. Yeah, I should have just pinged. I wasn't thinking about P fire. Although they probably would have just P fired in my car. Not a good chance they have it. Next turn, get the thing, then Karn, so they have to kill the lattice. Yeah, that's a line. It's a perfectly reasonable line. Uh, do I want to not play a land to leave my city in play? Because this wasteland is kind of scary. Them. Yeah, no, they, yeah, they don't. Because they float the mana and they kill the Karn. Uh, I think we're just going to play land. I don't think I really care about this city that much. If they wasteland me, like, we still just have plenty of lands. Our plan is just like to punch them with this ballista over and over again at this point. They have a punishing fire here. Cold God's command too. That's a blowout. Don't know why they didn't do that last turn, but okay. I don't even know if 
that's actually a blowout. It's a two for one, I guess. I guess is a uh, better way to phrase that. It's pretty good if they have like a wasteland man, like have another Thalia. This is a weird loam deck. Two for one, me. Yeah, the blister that we wished for. Diamond and Tormoth Crypt them. Yeah, see, now we can't uh, Countryside Crush them. Or, now we can't not Countryside Crush them. Do they have the other thing? Uh, oh, draw select. Two cards in hand. We probably just need to Glass Casket this. This thing's scary, right? I guess we could just Bridge, but that's a little bit more scary to do. Problem is that uh, we don't have. Ah, uh, I suppose like cards there. I'm running out of time though. We don't have lattice rolled up afterwards. Bridge is worse against removal because then they get to also just attack the Karn. But it's better against like another creature. Don't know if mounds are better, but they're more fun. Fair. Uh, maybe we do just bridge them. Um, no, because then they, all they draw is gas with this, right? Yeah, that's scary. This is CMC, yeah. Yeah, I definitely missed the line where like I could have actually just played Crocus and killed them. That would have been, made this game much easier, for sure. We always wish for Bridge next turn if we need to, if like have, they have a knight or something. We don't want Countryside Crusher just like getting gigantic and drawing them into a bunch of gas. That's how this thing works, right? Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it in your graveyard and repeat it. Oh, well, they got more crushing to do. Oh, never mind. They do not have more crushing to do. Kill that. Animator glass casket hit him for two. Um, we could wish for a thing, but then we can't play the lattice, so we don't need to do that. Oh man, I could not get it in the beat downs. They have one mana. Beat down a clock. Oh no, this thing stays an artifact. They're a creature. I'm an idiot. It stays a creature during their turn. I'm dumb. Thought it was just for my turn for some reason. Now that should like have it be fire and get wrecked. Don't worry, they don't have it. Yeah, see, they don't have it. We're fine. That play was terrible. I agree. I forgot it stayed animated. Uh, so now we just have to bridge them. I just really wanted to hit him for two, okay? Don't hate. This knight can do things. I don't know what. If they have like a barbering, they can clear my Karn. But at least they can't punch me. Oh, well, that sucks. But at least we have the follow-up Karn, eventually. Sphere. Techlist is wild. Wait, they just hit me? Can I punish them for that at all? Not really. Um... Wondering if we can do anything else with this Karn besides plus it. Definitely could have won 
a game, but uh, missed the line for sure. I think Serenity might suck. Does my opponent even have Chalice of Void in their deck? I guess they have, like, Damping Sphere, which is a card that exists and is, like, moderately hard to get off the table. I think Serenity might just suck, though. They have, like, Mox Diamond and shit. They have, to, they have to have Chalices, though, right? They just, like, haven't found any. And, like, Chalice plus Damping Sphere plus, like, Ley Lines. Like, take them over. Like, th this league literally... I literally started this league saying I wanted to try out Serenity. Um, blah, blah, blah. Downsides over playing Disenchant, blah, blah, blah. Upsides over playing Disenchant. And then at the start of this match, I also said, this is a matchup where I would, like, Disenchant over Serenity. But, like... This is also literally why you test cards. I think Serenity's still good enough. We gotta play fast. We only have six minutes left, and we might need to, like, kill them. This hand sucks. This hand also sucks, but it's probably a keep on a multi six. Turn two bullets to turn three. Karn is okay. Especially if they have, like, a chalice hand. Yeah. Deal. I'm just running out the ballista here. Uh, we could run out Karn on turn two. It's pretty good, too. I'm into that. It loses our City of Traders pretty quickly, though. I need to play fast, though. Oh, no, we can't run out the Karn. There's a chalice to play. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. How far are you in Borderlands 3? I beat it. I beat it at like some time. Oh no! Turn off auto yields. Oh, okay. I thought they were like plowing my ballista or something. I was gonna miss one damage. Oh, I'd probably rather gain one than. Oh no, I don't want an exile though. What you got, opponent? Something not threatening, hopefully. Yeah, Thalia. Love it. We can just ping off the Thalia. Player Karn, kill the Chalice. Ooh, and then tutor up LED next turn. Ping. Karn. Kill. I'm gonna play with the pedal here in case of like a Thalia or something, I guess. I don't know. In case of like another ch I don't know I don't think there's a reason to play this metal but we have five and a half minutes and I may need to combo kill them <laughs> but yeah we just wish for LED and we have the, we have lethal here assuming they don't have trophy or something they can't cast a trophy right now but and I imagine they will trophy the Karn at six. Oh yes come on do something non-threatening oh, fuck now we just wish for another ballista Ballista on one, kill the. Yeah. I think I'm just not even gonna play this cavern to play around another wasteland. You don't have to think this Thalia. We just pass. Don't want infinite storm with no value, yeah. I had considered it. It was an option. Borat stronghold, interesting. This doesn't cast trophy, which means we have lethal set up. Assuming no like source of plowshares. Which we haven't seen yet. We might like tab out for a night here too. Yes. Deal. Human. Bobble. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. In 
before we get like surgical or something. Now we just gotta kill him, which we might not be able to do. Because we have to make like 42 mana. We're probably fine though. We have four and a half minutes. That's what. Uh, 260 seconds to make 42 mana. That's plenty of time. We make a mana like every two seconds ish. I literally can't even glance at chat because I'm concerned. I see that I was tagged in something, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, we should be fine. Wish there was a way, there might be a way, but I'm not sure. That I don't have to click on the mana every time, that it auto uses my mana. Because it, like, auto-pays for the white mana with the floating white mana, but then, like, I have to click on the white mana again to pay for the colorless and the ability. That's something I've never known if that's a way, to, if there's a way to, like, speed that up. Because that would definitely let me click one last time. There's a setting for that. Ooh, maybe I should, uh, like, auto-use mana. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense not to trust it, but for a deck like Bomberman, it might be worthwhile in some cases. Wish there was just, like, a button I could hold down to auto-use mana. Yeah, we got two minutes. We're at 30 mana. Yeah, we're fine. They're dead. anything you're looking at telegram I'm heading home from trivia now sure um might be a faster forge line 
I can't hear you say anything back. Uh... Can you beat intervention back? Uh, whew. You know, I've had to be bobble a bunch. That's <laughs> not fine. 11 seconds left on the clock. Didn't have time to do what I always like to do for safety reasons, which is put the, at least put the LED back into play when you're going off. So, like, if something, like, horrible happens and, like, you fuck up or, like, you misclick or miscount by one or something, then, like, you can still make infinite mana a second time. But, like, I was down to the wire there. I was like, 42 mana, go, kill them. And we were very close. <laughs> I don't know if we could have fit in, uh... Three more bobble activations to, or two more bobble activations to keep the LED in play. I'm taking a lift and not making J Club pick me up so we can stream. I see, okay. Oh, there's an accident on 64. Alright. I, I, I get you. Whew. Ugh. It's a stressful game. Can I move the camera enough to, so you guys can see Lily? I don't know if the cord goes... No, the cord doesn't go that far. She's passed out under the desk on the other side of the table. She is asleep, which is good, because we only have one more round. Four oh eight and one. Would have been eight no if I had uh, seen the line. As it turns out. Sup, Hondo. Thanks for the eleven month resub. Is this the Legends of Runeterra beta? Good question. No. Been seeing a bunch of people hyped for that, but uh, I don't know. People were also hyped for Artifact, so I'm willing to be behind the. Uh, behind the trends and like not actually play it i'll be interested if like it actually gets popular then maybe i'll look into it but i'll wait and see uh this hand is great no white sources but we have uh, chalice and a forge which is just nuts i don't think i'm gonna play this bobble and, and we'll probably do play this bobble actually we want to draw towards white sources for mentor They're, we're not going to be playing this mentor anytime soon, I don't think. And by then, we'll like have a forge in play, probably. I think we just want to cycle for like more land drops. We also... I'm just bobbling right now. See what type of deck they're on. See if we... like Sometimes you don't want to play the Chalice on one. LED. So, like, Storm. So we do want Chalice on one. In before Mirror. Well, Chalice one's okay here, too. But our hand is not super good against Dredge. Man, if only we had Chalice on zero for value. Would have gotten him so good. That's not how that works, opponent. Uh. Um. Um. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, that is how that works. They had exactly seven cards in the graveyard? Sure. Why did this pop out? I don't know what's going on. Let's just... Chalice on zero for value was right. Indeed. Yeah, because they kept seven and drew the eighth card, right? And then the land drop was down seven cards in hand, and then, like, yeah, they have seven permanents. That is how that works. Luckily, they didn't hit any Faithless Lootings in the top third of their deck, which is great for me. These next turns consist of, like, just getting zombied and bridge from below, right? Two bridges. I think we just want to play Mystic Forge here. Try to dig for, like, Karn or, like, that, just LED for Salvagers. Rather than, like, mentoring. 
been like Karn or Ballista or something. It's great. Nope. Look on camera souls. All right, cool. Basic planes. That's what I wanted. Really don't like how this is like popped out like this. It makes me very. I just don't like it. Go away. It's better, I guess. Show Lily what's she doing. She's asleep under the desk over there, and I can't. The camera wire does not reach around that far. But she's passed out. Wow, there are three Icarids. They don't have a lot of uh, fodder. They can like really bring back like one, maybe two. on the grave symbol yeah but then i like it starts sinking down below like i just want it to be like here in a column like i see their hand hit me for six and then we might just be facing lethal next turn right might want an upkeep stop yeah they have three bridges this is almost certainly lethal right They have, okay, you really didn't need to sack them, but okay. I don't think that two bridges. It's still super lethal though. We need to find like Karn plus mana, LED plus Ballista. LED doesn't even do it. Oh no, crap, I didn't cycle the bobble. Just too busy trying to figure out what the fuck was going on, whoops. We fucked up. We would have drawn this forge. So now we're basically dead. I know we can just exile the forge, but we would have drawn this forge. So let's see what's the next card. Caracas, all right. So we are, in fact, super dead. The Caracas would have been on top, but we could have seen the next card, obviously. So we wouldn't have been dead in that instance. But now we are. Eight, then get back two Acrids. We're. Draw my next card and see what happened if I wasn't an idiot, though. There's a chalice. So we draw the forge. We tap the forge. So we have to, like, play out this chalice on zero or, like, tap two main to play it on one. So an opal, and then we die. Okay. Could, like, have mentor chalice on one to then hit the opal. I don't think that's enough blockers still. But yeah, whoops. Too busy thinking about a bunch of other stuff happening. Anyway, how did I sideboard for this last time? I talked about crypt on the play, not the draw. So I think we can just run it like that. And then bring in the crypt for like a bobble or something. What did I do last time? Yeah, I probably boarded out like a bobble. We bring in the ballista, maybe. Maybe I want four ballistas. You don't really need like to carn wish for ballistas, and like naturally drawing ballistas helps you deter uh, bridge from blows and stuff. So maybe this is okay. Oh, snap keep. Turn one, pedal, planes pedal, go. Oh right, I still have my upkeep stop. What you got? Looting, sure. Icarid Thug, sure. Flashback looting. Not flashback looting. Okay. I don't think we want to use the LED to uh, put in the priest here. I think we can just sit on it. It's a lot more concerning if they could get a creature in play, which I don't really think they can. So now they want a looting, right? Because then it activates their Coliseum. Did 
Oh shit, now they get the Coliseum response. I didn't think about that. I'm dumb. <laughs> that they hit all the all three of the other Narga moves. Whoops. Man, I'm really bad at this matchup, huh? How many bridges they got? Uh is that only one bridge? One. I think like therapy and take my ballistas though. Which prevents me from breaking the bridge. And then like they make a hogek. I'm bad. Could have let them have one narc. No, that's not true. They would have just flashed the therapy and named priest. I should have just cast my priest sorcery speed though. Now they hit both my ballistas, cast a hogak, and we're pretty shit out of luck. Man, this is how we lose our 5-0 by maybe just being horrible for two straight games. <laughs> a bummer. so don't forget because I don't need to know the card in their hand I don't think there's a draw that really saves us here though because we don't have like LED in play to beat like to, to salvagers them and like Karn doesn't do anything because we can't also play bridge in the same turn and we're probably facing maybe we're not facing lethal in two turns because the container freeze might hold down the fort a little bit here I think we're just taking 12 here. We want to draw more things that block better. No narc move attack, that's like kind of unusual. All right, well now we can hopefully top deck LED and get saved. I'm pretty sure we can survive an attack here. Yeah, we can definitely survive an attack. We just have to trade off our whole board. Oh no, we lose the mentor and the monk. Did we draw Caracas too? Caracas actually, I think, wins us the game. Or very close to it. Actually, no. This Narc Mew might actually just be lethal now. Or close to lethal. If they attack with everything. We go to two as it currently sits. So we have to block like this. Um, and we go to one now. So yeah, Krakus wouldn't win us the game. Actually, no, Krakus would because we could buy back Ballista and shoot the Narc. So yeah. We'll block like that, go to one. This is six, seven, we're at eight. Yep, just making sure. So we have like five Karn? We have some of our top decks. That's not one of them. Unfortunate. Man, if only I was not bad at this game. Might have worked out a lot better. Fuck off, Greybeard. Sifuku. Oh yeah, we got the blister to, to deal ourselves lethal. Didn't even think about that, being, to be perfectly honest. We had a fair number of hits there, right? Two Kragas, three LED, four Karn are all lethal at that point. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. 
ish. I did my math right. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, Dredge just can't take a tamer off the board. You, you just like play the sorcery speed when they have uh, stuff like Cephalid. Cephalid's the only thing they can do at like instant speed, which is not which is not what I was thinking of. I was just thinking that Dredge can't really dredge at instant speed very well in ways that like punish you. Rip, rip the rip the five zero back to back dream. Definitely have a winnable. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna let up Lily because I should not just get home. Go attack her. More wild. <laughs> open, ch open chest. All right, we'll open one chest. It's not bad. I don't know. We got 169 chests. We're not opening any chests. But anyway, um, gonna sign off here. Unfortunate end to our our run, but definitely due to some some definite user error there. Games are all learning experiences. Probably best to just play preset sorcery speed after like turn two ish. Cause they can't do they can't do nonsense unless they have untapped, unless they have like blue mana plus untapped. Uh, in the state of the world, any number in eight sixty nine counts. Yeah, obviously. But I don't think they can really do that on turn one if they have like Coliseum. LED and Street Wraith? No, because then they just don't even have enough cards in the yard. Trying to work out if there's like a turn that you want to sorcery speed your container priest. I think it's turn two. I don't think you need to sorcery speed at turn one. I could be wrong. There's probably some like super nonsense draw that punishes you. Maybe something with like Cephalid Coliseum into looting or something, into like LED looting. Hmm. Trying to figure out when when you're supposed to sorcery speed your Katama Priests for Stridge now, so don't make that mistake again. I don't think it's just turn one. I think it might be after turn two, but anyway. Um, let's go find someone to host. Uh, we'll host Cyrus. He's not actually playing Legacy unless he switched back, but he's playing some Vintage. But he's also still Cyrus, who's just great. So let's go host him. Host Cyrus G. Anyway, as always, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you had a good time. Uh, if you want to support the channel some more, you can always follow, subscribe, or donate. If you want to see more Legacy content, be playing Legacy all month, leading up to Eternal Weekend. Uh, so yeah, have a, have a good night, day, afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys all Friday, I guess, Friday stream.